Hello everyone, my name is Octavio Villarreal and I am a postdoctoral researcher at the Dynamic Legged Systems Lab at the Italian Institute of Technology. In this paper, we present a control strategy for dynamic legged locomotion in complex scenarios using vision. We evaluate the strategy in simulations using the hydraulic quadruped robot Hikurio. The strategy combines model predictive control and our previously presented fast foothold adaptation, which uses a convolutional neural network to select safe footholds based on visual information. These two approaches are mutually beneficial to each other. Firstly, we exploit the computational efficiency of the CNN-based foothold classifier to generate safe contact sequences to be used in the MPC-based controller. This reduces the number of decision variables in the optimization. Secondly, the MPC-based controller helps the vision-based foothold adaptation to obtain better estimations of future landing positions, also called foothold predictions. We start from the premise that optimizing ground reaction forces accounting for future states will lead to better foothold predictions. The strategy is comprised of three main elements. The reactive controller framework, the RCF, a contact sequence task, and a center of mass tracking task. The RCF is a modular locomotion framework that allows us to combine a series of reactive proprioceptive-based behaviors with the vision-based foothold adaptation and the MPC trunk balance controller. The contact sequence task fulfills two purposes. Continuously adjusting the landing position of the feet to avoid collisions and unsafe footholds, and providing safe contact sequences further ahead in the terrain using the CNN base classifier. The COM tracking task includes the generation of the reference for the center of mass and the computation of the ground reaction forces to track this reference along the prediction horizon. We take a heuristic approach for the reference generation of the center of mass. For the xy positions and velocities, as well as the yaw angle and rotational rate, we project the user heuristic commands into the future, assuming that they will remain constant along the prediction horizon. In the case of the roll and pitch angles, after the contact sequence task provides the sets of footholds along the prediction horizon, we feed a plane connecting these footholds and use the orientation of this plane as reference for the body. This is done for every set of footholds along the prediction horizon. Our MPC trunk controller uses a simplified version of the centroidal dynamics model. We model the robot as a rigid body subject to contact forces at each stance foot and we neglect the effects of precession and nutation, as well as the range exerted on the body due to the leg inertia. We formulate the MPC problem in the following way. Given the state space description of the system dynamics, we first substitute the contact locations PI with the contacts given by the CNN based foothold classifier in the contact sequence task. To obtain a linear discrete time version of the system matrices, we follow a similar argument with respect to previous work. Assuming that the MPC base controller will follow the reference trajectory sufficiently close, we replace the values of the body orientation with the desired orientation along the prediction horizon. With these considerations, the system dynamics can be fully described along the prediction horizon and the following quadratic program is formulated. We want to compute the set of ground reaction forces U bar 
that minimizes the two norm of the difference between the states and the reference along the prediction horizon, as well as the ground reaction forces themselves. We also define constraints to account for friction, unilaterality and upper bounds for the normal forces, and the gate specification. To account for the range exerted by the legs due to their inertia, we compensate for it externally using the top right cross term of the joint space inertia matrix and the desired joint acceleration to keep the optimization problem as light as possible. The total range is computed as the sum of the range from the MPC controller plus the range related to the influence of the leg inertia. To evaluate the improvement in performance, we compared our previous QP-based trunk controller with the MPC plus leg inertia compensation proposed strategy. In the first simulation, the robot is commanded to trot with a forward velocity of 0.5 meters per second, while it is pushed multiple times along the longitudinal axis with a force of 700 newtons. In the bottom, plots corresponding the pitch angle, the forward velocity, and the foothold prediction error for each of the legs are shown. Our newest approach shows both a reduction in the variation of the forward velocity and in the foothold prediction error with respect to the baseline controller. We also tested the improved capability of the robot to traverse complex scenarios that require careful foothold selection and vision. We prepared a scenario with narrow beams located at different heights and at various orientations. Herein, the robot is commanded to trot with a constant forward velocity of 0.4 meters per second. Using the previous baseline controller, the robot was not able to cross the scenario mainly due to foothold prediction errors and variations in the forward velocity. When the MPC controller with the leg inertia compensation is used, the robot is able to complete the scenario, displaying a more stable locomotion behavior. We performed multiple simulations in this complex scenario to test repeatability. On top, the QP base controller is shown, and in the bottom, the trials of the MPC controller plus the leg inertia compensation are shown. In both cases, each of the trials starts from different initial conditions. As discussed before, the proposed strategy displays an overall more stable behavior when crossing the scenario, thanks to an improved computation of the ground reaction forces and a better foothold selection. In conclusion, the proposed control strategy reduced the foothold prediction error and presented less variation in forward velocity with respect to our baseline controller. This resulted in a reliable locomotion capable of overcoming large perturbations and able to act preemptively to obstacles based on visual information. As future work, we're currently implementing the proposed approach on our hydraulic quadruped robots HiQ and HiQ Real, and we plan to reformulate the problem in such a way that the effects of precession and mutation are not neglected. Thank you for your attention. I would like to thank my co-authors, Victor Barasol, Patrick Wensing, Darwin Caldwell, and Claudio Semini, as well as the members of the Dynamic Leg Assistance Lab at IIT and the Robotics Optimization and Assistive Mobility Lab at the University of Notre Dame. You can go to the website on the screen to check out other work from the DLS lab presented at ICRA on topics such as soft terrain locomotion, trajectory optimization, learning-based motion generation, and our new quadruped, Haikyuu Real.